Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Carwana D. Welcome to my channel. I just want to talk about five reasons that you should sell to the government today. If you are a small business, you definitely want to tune in because I'm going to share with you five most important reasons you should be selling your services to the government okay all right so um if you're new to my channel and you've never heard of me before i'm carwana d i'm a small business growth strategist and i teach women and minority small business owners or just small business owners in general how to grow their business with government contracts so that you can have consistent sustainable income okay so in the description you're going to find um, a link to you know my six-figure case study where you can discover more about this amazing opportunity to do business with the government. Um, that link is going to be qualifyforgovernmentcontracts.com. Again, that's qualifyforgovernmentcontracts.com. That link is going to be in the, the, the description. So go ahead and grab a copy if you want to know what you need to do to qualify to do business with the government. So um, today I want to share with you the top five reasons that you should actually be doing business with the government okay and um this is going to be for you definitely like at times like this when we're you know we don't know what's up and what's down and people are losing their jobs left and right you work for yourself right and you want to be stress-free at a time like this okay because the government pays top dollars for the services that you provide and you don't have to worry about you know, whether the whole world is going to shut down for, you know, the next 30 to 60, 90 days or whatever, because you are in the position, right? In a great position when you're doing business with the government. So um, number one, right? Number one reason, the number one reason why you should consider doing business with the government if you're a small business is number one, they have a trillion dollar budget, you guys. Come on. When you when you started your business, you started it because you knew that you you had a, a service that people wanted to buy, right? Or a service that people use, right? And so there was dollars being spent, okay? On the consumer level or the small level, those dollars we don't know what they, well, you know, we don't know what it what is going to be for you, right? But the government, um absolutely spends trillions of trillions of dollars every single year on services they do it on products as well but i'm talking to those service-based businesses okay because i'm a service-based business and i know what it's like to have a professional service that you want to provide um and you know having to chase customers in order to you know meet your business goals right so they absolutely buy services okay so um so trillions of dollars you know in their budget last year they spent 4.4 trillion dollars on products and services okay so if we already know there's a pool of trillions of dollars being spent why not jump in right well why not jump in and get a piece of that pie with a trillion dollar budget even if you got like one percent two percent what would that do for you as a business owner okay so the number two reason why or the second reason why um, you should consider doing business with the government is they care about us as small business owners so much that they created small and diverse business certification programs where they set aside out of those trillions and trillions of dollars a certain percentage obviously obligated to go to small business owners like yourself okay so if they already have an obligation to spend a certain percentage of those trillions and trillions of dollars in their budget with small business owners why wouldn't you want to you know go ahead and do business with the government hey it's a plug and play system you guys <laughs> all right the third reason why you should want to do business with gov with government agencies is number three is um, they purchase a wide range of services and products, right? So I'm gonna give you an example. I'm writing on, you know, sticky notes right now. Um, you know, my little notes or whatever. Sticky notes, you guys, they buy this. If you sell it or if you have the ability to sell it, they buy it. Um, let me see. And this is just how easy it is. I want you to understand. So this pen, right? I write my notes with this pen. <laughs> you sell it, they buy it, right? <laughs> Marketing services. You sell it, they buy it, you guys. Photography services, you sell it, they buy it. Web design services, you sell it, they buy it. And so that is just to show you, you know, just, just how much 
opportunities that are there for service-based businesses, for product-based businesses as well. But in particular, I'm talking to those service-based business providers. Like, And when I say they spend top dollars, they spend top dollars, you guys. And so at times like this, when the world is in a chaos, you don't have to worry about where your next check is going to come from because like the the budget that they spend on the services that you provide is it'll hold you over for at least a year or two right so um and we're talking about lots of opportunities with the government okay so the third reason actually i'm on four so the fourth reason why you want to do business with the government is not only can you just as a small business owner acquire the government as a customer, but you can do that on three different levels, right? You can do it locally, you can do it statewide, and you can do it on the federal national level, you guys. Those are major streams of income. Like every single level you want to think about as a country, basically, because every single level of government, those are the three local um, state and federal has their own pool of contracting opportunities, own pool of budgets, own pool of goals to do business with small business owners like yourself. And so that becomes like the flowing stream <laughs> of unlimited opportunities. Right. And so that is the, the, the fourth reason that you want to do business with the government. And the fifth reason is sustainability, especially at a time like this, when you are a small business and you're probably struggling to get customers and you know individuals are not you know purchasing services or whatever they're cutting back because we don't know what's going to happen but the government agencies they have to stay afloat so they're they're still doing business they're still cutting those big checks you guys so sustainability and consistent income is going to be so key so those are the top 5 reasons you want to sell to the government cuz one you know <laughs> You already know they, they buy your services, right? So um, they buy your services. They spend top dollars on it. They have an obligation to spend a certain percentage with small business matters, right? And um, they spend trillions and trillions of dollars. So it's a no-brainer, right? So if you want to learn more, go ahead and check out my um, case study on this. And and so you can see how it work, can work for you and your business. Um, go ahead and visit qualifyforgovernmentcontracts.com. Again, that's qualifyforgovernmentcontracts.com. There's going to be a short 15-minute case study video. You guys check it out. Please take a look, a serious look at this for your business because if you're already in business because you want to make money, this is a way for you to make big money. Okay. All right. So thank you so much for watching, tuning in. I'm Carwana D. It's been nice and I'll catch you next time.